Come on. I ain't gonna bite you. Come around here and let me have a look at you. My goodness, look at you. You turned out all right, didn't you? Let's get the obvious stuff out of the way. You're not human, are you? Well, it's tough to get any more obvious than that. If I had to guess, I'd say you're a program from the machine world. So is he. So far, so good. But if that's true, that could mean you are part of this system. Another kind of control. Keep going. I suppose the most obvious question is, how can I trust you? Bingo. It is a pickle, no doubt about it. Bad news is there's no way if you can really know whether I'm here to help you or not. So it's really up to you. Just have to make up your own damn mind to either accept what I'm going to tell you or reject it. Candy? You already know if I'm going to take it? Wouldn't be much of an oracle if I didn't. But if you already know, how can I make a choice? Because you didn't come here to make the choice. You've already made it. You're here to try to understand why you made it. Greetings, Dumelang. Peace. Peace, love and light to you all. Family, welcome to another YouTube video. Wherever you may be in the world, wherever you are, yeah, we're still, we're still here. We still have breath. So we're still moving. And... You know, we thank the one most high for keeping us. We thank the one most high for this opportunity to be alive. It is really, it is really such an honor, such a blessing to be alive. And you should, you should, you should feel thankful and you should be thankful, you know, for the fact that you are here today. So today we're going to be talking about divination. We're going to be talking about divination. We're going to be talking about what divination is. We're going to get a little bit into the different types of divination, you know, and just like touch, touch around this particular subject. Now, if you are a returning subscriber before I jump in, thank you. And if you are watching this, but you're not a subscriber, then do subscribe because trust me, you will get information here every once in a while. You know, I post often and uh, to tell you a little bit about myself real quick. Uh, methics tachatos fisos relate to mashangu and i am a keeper a custodian of knowledge i am i am what i regard as an as an ancient return you know a soul with a futuristic mindset with a very ancient 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 spirit in a new body i am a student before i am a teacher but a teacher I am. And yeah, so today we're going to be talking about divination, as I said. So now let's start off with the word within itself. Divination. A lot of people were killed in the dark ages, you know, for being diviners or sorcerers. And which is ironic because if, when you break down the word sorcery, it means now you are dealing with people who mingle with the energy of the source or source energy. And divination is the, the, the root word with that. Would, uh, the root word in that would be the divine. So working with the energy of the divine, finding means, some supernatural means to, to, to bring about what it is that someone's life is is either headed towards or where it has been or where that person is right now so it's about basically finding supernatural ways physical non-physical ways to relay messages to a particular person or to bring about a particular mission now the video that i played in the beginning is from the matrix movie where the neo went to go see the oracle and that video or that, that that specific part is very important in you now coming to understand what divination is, understanding fate, understanding destiny. Check what the oracle says to Neo. He says, she says, you have not come here to make the choice. 
you've already made the choice. You are here to find out why you made the choice. What that is talking about, what that is speaking about is your pre-existent state or the pre-existent state of your soul, of your spark, your divine spark. You are not here on earth to make a choice to be on earth. You've already made the choice to be here on earth at this specific time in history, at this specific, um, con you know, th th at this specific coalition and, 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 and alignment in the sky above and in the earth below. You've already made the choice. You are here to find out why you made the choice to come to earth. And that's where divination comes in. Divination, as I said, is finding some means. So there's different types of divinations. There's divinations that would require physical objects in order for them to work. And then there would be those that would basically not require those. That would be a divination through the form of clear audience or clear, yeah, clear audio, where you would go see someone or you would be around someone and they would use the spiritual version of what the ears are, which is the clear audio or, or clear audience. So they would hear the message. So the message would be relayed to the person on an auditory level, spiritually. And then they are clear voice. Those are the people who see. So they can either see things in dreams or they can have visions or they can see things in their mind's eye while they're sitting to you. Images can, can, can be projected into their head from whatever type of entity that they are working with. You see, so those would be the, the non-physical type of divination. Sort of like somewhat when you go see someone and they, they, they give you a prophecy or they tell you things about yourself. All of them, either whether they're using a physical thing or a non-physical thing, work because light is in the play here. Light is the game. Remember, when someone is divining you, what they are doing is they are tapping into Izozi, which is the astral body, which is the light body. So they are reading your light. Ugukanyawako. Everything manifest in the material universe is light and vibration at different frequencies. So when light slows down, it becomes matter. So you are the slow, you are you are slowed down light. You are slowed down divine light. And so when someone reads you, what they are doing is that they are tapping into the in, in, into what they call the etheric field. And then now they, they can be able to now read what is bouncing off your aura. So what, what comes off from you also hits them. Because remember, we are living in what they call a holographic universe. What they call a, a hologram. If, 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 you, if you read about holograms, a hologram is defined as... If, if, if you have a hologram, something that you are projecting, right? If you zoom into one part of a hologram... And, 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 and you view it, that part that you zoomed into will also contain the whole of what the hologram is. It's also what is called the fractal universe, where, where they say that if you take, if, if you take, let's say a piece of something and you zoom into it more and more and more and more within that piece, will be contained the whole. Just as when they say that you are the universe expressing itself as a human on a, uh, or temporarily, or you were created in the image of God, you are the hologram of God. You are a projection of God. So you are a fragment of God. But within this fragment, which is your name, is contained the whole. So that's why now we can divine each other. Because... Within each of our medulla, within each of who we are as individuals, there is a fragment of the whole. So 
there is what they call the Akashic Record of the Collective, which you contain inside of you and your own personal Akashic Records. The Akashic Records is the field where everything that ever happened is stored. Remember, energy cannot be created or destroyed and we are, we are energy. So when someone is divining you, what they are doing is that they are, tap they are tapping into a, uh, the, the subtle realms where your light exists. When you walk in a room and people are having an argument, you can feel the energy in that room. That's divining. You are divining the energy in that room. When you walk in a certain environment, it, 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 it just doesn't feel safe. You are picking up on the vibes. You are picking up on the vibrations of that room. I'll give you an example of one time that I experienced this before I, I give you the different types of divinations. Uh, I had this guy uh, um, in my neighborhood. So, um, you know, he was going through what I would call an awakening. And as he's going through it, I just had to be there, I guess, to witness it. Uh, his ancestors or or whatever our soul karmic contract was, 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 was written so that I would be there to witness this. And so he's driving, he's driving around with me. You know, so before we went to like different places and he was telling me things in the car and I could see, I knew what that experience was because I experienced something similar, but I wasn't sure. And so we went to his house. He had a big bottle of water. Um, and he's like, I'm going to just go quickly fill this up in the house. I'm like, okay, cool, bro. Can I read your Bible? He had a Bible on the, on the desktop. I'm like, can I, can I quickly check out your Bible? He's like, ah, sure, sure. Then he left. And then, so now I'm sitting in the car and I was like, spirit, whatever is happening, talk to me right now. And then I opened the Bible randomly. I opened it, closed my eyes, pointed my eyes and my fingers pointed to the book of Ezekiel. I don't remember where it is right now, but it was the, the, the chapter and the verse about the resurrection of the bones. The resurrection, uh, they're speaking about how, um, uh, Ezekiel, what is that, what is that thing? Um, about the resurrection of the bones, how, how, how they will come alive again. And I was like, damn, it is what I thought. So what I was feeling was happening to him was confirmed by the verse that I was pointing in. Because if you read that verse or that whole chapter on a metaphysical esoteric level, that verse is talking about the resurrection of the body. Meaning that those who are, those who are dead will be brought back to life, but not dead physically dead in consciousness so what he was going through which is because now I was in his auric field this is what was happening so I divined in that moment and from that moment on as we drove around I knew exactly what was happening to him and so now I could move accordingly knowing now what is happening so that would be one example of what divining is and that is because remember again the, the whole is contained within the fragments. So that's why now, when, as, as we get into the different parts of divination, you find people who divine with what? Tarot cards, right? So there's tarot cards. There's the playing cards. So some people divine with playing cards. So you'll have playing cards. Remember, all of these are symbols, signs and symbols. There's 52 playing cards. There's 52 weeks in a year. So all these cards, before they were games, before they were turned into game chess, all these things, they were metaphysical practices that were turned into games just as mythology or uh, higher science that were turned into stories that could be used to explain deeper mysteries of existence to people so same thing goes with the cards with the with the with the spades and 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 the, and the jokers and the whatnot so let me show you what happened to me with that guy using this this example so right now right if i say to you i can't see the cards you see i say to you pick a card I shuffle the card, ta, 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 ta. I shuffle them, and I say, pick a card. 
Right now, actually, look at a card. My, my, my fanning might not be nice. But look at a card. Mesmerize it. Mesmerize that card. Mesmerize it. You've got it? All right. That card which you have mesmerized. That card which you have mesmerized. As I shuffle these cards, there's 52. That card, right now, this card, I don't know what it is, you don't know what this card is, but that card that you, that you mesmerized, right now, as potential, it's this card. It's this card. So, let me, actually, let, let me, let me do it like this. Let me do it like this. I, I'm going to explain multiple things at the same time here. When you go see a diviner and they use whatever system and they say, pick a card, right? You pick a card. You can choose any of the 52 cards. Any of the 52 cards. So, because now what that brings into, in, 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 into the whole scenario is, 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 is randomness and chaos. But now, because of the fractal universe, because of your aura, because of your energy, because we are one being scattered, the moment you say this card, that randomness stops. Now, this takes us into quantum physics, where they speak about the double split experiment, which says that when human consciousness is not looking at something, so the universe exists in waves and particles. We're getting deep into this. It exists in waves and particles. When you are not looking at something, that particular thing exists as a wave form. But the moment you make contact with it, with your eyes, that wave collapses and turns into a particle. Right? So it's potential. So when you're not looking at something, let's say right now I'm not looking at these cars. They are a potential. It's an example. But when I look at them, that Th that wave breaks and then it turns into a particle. Do research on the on the on the double s uh, slit experiment where they they shoot um, waves and particles through a double slit. And so, okay, just just do that. I don't want to get into it because that's a whole other thing. But I'm using it to explain here what is happening on a spiritual esoteric level when divining is taking place. So now, this is potential. Because no one is looking at it. But the moment, the moment you take this card, it breaks and collapses into a particle. It becomes this card that you've chosen when you are with that person. So let's say now that person says, okay, so you pick the eight of diamonds, for example. What the eight of diamonds is going to do it's going to explain, because you could have picked any cards on an auric level, the potential of, of what it is that was happening to you or what is happening to you in your life is going to be explained by the eight of diamonds. In that moment, in that, in, in, in that scenario, just as me, when I was with that guy, when I took that Bible and I opened randomly to a verse, and I opened randomly to a verse. I was like, all right. Um, brrr, then I picked this, right? Let me see now. Um, and the first. <sighs> okay, so, so this is where I pointed now, right? Uh, I'm just going to read this. This is the, uh, in the book of Deuteronomy 25 verse 6. It says, and the firstborn son shall succeed to the name of the dead brother, that his name may not be blotted out of Israel. And if the man does not want to take his brother's wife, then let his brother's wife go to the gate to the elders and say, My husband's brother refuses to continue his brother's name in Israel. He will not perform the duty of my husband's brother. Okay, you see this whole thing? They're speaking about... Ubudi, brothers, 
I'm not going to get into it right now. But in my esoteric Bible studies, when I was talking about um, uh, Jacob and um, Jacob and, and, and Esau, the, um, is it Jacob and Esau, the one who took his brother, the one who took his brother's birthright. So it was about one ascending from the lower, because one brother, S -M -A -M Esau, represented the physical, and the other brother represented the spiritual. So the one had to ascend from the physical to the spiritual. So he took the birthright. So you have to leave the carnal, the carnal nature. So that, as an example, would be what was happening to that brother right there that I was with when, when, when I went to that verse and I, and, I, and I pointed at it and it said Ezekiel and it spoke about the bones. What I was doing was I was collapsing the potential of the wave and then I particleized it because I am a creator. Remember, you are divining everything in the universe is a language everything is light and light is a language and so every one of us can read it but not every one of us are initiated into being able to read these signs and these symbols so when you are divining either through cards people can divine using cards they can divine using numbers say for an example numbers right this, this is a book about cards actually can divine using numbers they you could you could, um, there's divinations that is done through crystals. People could divine using crystals. You could look at a crystal ball and see, ooh, oh, this is about you. Some people look at your palm and they can tell from your palm because, again, within the hand is contained the whole body. That's why acupuncture works because they can they can put needles in certain parts of your body or they can pinch you at a certain part and then it could make you twitch elsewhere because the nerves are all connected. So within here, within here, the body is contained just as within the, the, the foot, certain your big toe um, uh, represents um, a, a part of, of, of the connections in your head. Your little toe represents parts um, of, of, of connections somewhere here. I'm, I, I'm not deep into that, but there's, there's a whole science about how every part of the body is connected to a smaller region of the body. So that's why someone could look at your palm and be able to be like, hey, oh no, this is gonna have, these lines mean this, these lines mean that, but that type of divination needs someone to be studied also. Unlike the one where you just go off intuition and or, or it just comes like at you naturally, which is what these are a, a product of. You should be able to divine just like by, by, by gauging someone's aura. It's all about signs and symbols. Some people will use feathers to divine or nature, what they call geomancy, using things from nature, shells, co 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 combine it with feathers, bones, types of rocks, crystals, put it in a bag, shake it, you know, a whole bunch of things. And by what those things symbolize when they throw them on the ground, that person will be able to read what those things mean. It's the same thing as when some people, they say they use tea leaves like they, they, they'll make some tea for you and then give it to you to drink and then after that they'll pour out whatever tea is remaining and whatever shape is created from the the, the tea leaves they, they can use that to divine like oh no this is creating a symbol of this this is creating a symbol of that it's all about signs divination is all about signs and symbols divination is all about signs and symbols that's what it is Signs and symbols. What are signs and symbols? Signs and symbols are languages of the subconscious mind. Remember, your subconscious mind does not speak verbally like this. It speaks in images, in signs and symbols. That's why your dreams are symbolic in nature. And for you to learn how to interpret your dreams, to define your dreams, we're going to have to know what different symbols mean. 
Let me just read here for you. Uh, like This is a nice book. I got it a couple of years back. Signs and Symbols, Identification and Analysis of the Visual Vocabulary. Woo! Identification and Analysis of the Visual Vocabulary that formulates our thoughts and dictates our reactions to the world around us. An interpretation of the unconscious codes and secret languages that shape our most ancient emotions. Woo! Damn! Damn! So when you are dealing with divination, these are... When someone is, is not confident, they'll tend to... Maybe they say you stand on stage. Maybe, or, or they feel shameful. They'll put their hands over... The genital, like the, the genital area, there will be a sign of shame, like oh, you know, you're ashamed, you, you know, you, you feel small, and and these are things that, that that would be subtle to you. It's just as let's say when someone is when you're in a rush, tend to wanna, you know, snap snap your fingers, or when you are angry, you know, you ball up your fists. These are primal emotions that surpass the conscious. It, it, it surpasses the consciousness of, of, of language. It's a language that, that's what they call body language. Some people could look at your body language and divine whether you are a confident person, whether your shoulders are like this or like this, whether when you speak you are like this, whether when you speak to people you, you open your hands, whether they, they, can, they can determine whether you are rude. All this also, you know, it goes into public speaking. How you stand. And, you know, there's people who could teach, you know, do this with your hands, open them. Or else when you close like this, then you are closing to the audience. It's all subtle things. But it's a language of light. Everything is a language of light. That's what divination is, family. That's what divination is. So I could get into the different types of tarot or, or divining through leaves or divining through... I'm giving you the juice of what all of them are about. And what all of them are about is tapping into your juice energy, which is the astral body or your light body. And now being able to read the language of the light body. And now bringing it to the forefront and saying, okay, here it is. Because now there are some people who are tapped into higher vibrations within themselves they've got higher centers that are open these centers you yourself may not be able to see certain things so that's why sometimes you have people on the other side who want to talk to you but they can't because you know there's certain paths inside of you that are blocked in fact they talk into you every night in dreams but the moment you wake up you can't remember or you don't even know what it means so what it what what would do is that they would through contracts and through synchronicity use someone else to pass the message to you. That's what I was talking about when I was doing the video about the Orishas, Jorge, um, the who, who, who's who's the uh, Alegba or Alegua. He would he the, the god of the crossroads turn. He would shape shift into different beings, different entities. There will be your ancestors, there will be the people, there will be your guides who would shift into different versions to relay messages to you. So divination is all about relaying a message to someone. The most popular one is astrology. Now this is where you divine using celestial bodies. You could look at the sun, oh, um, oh, the moon is there, oh, the planets are there. So on an astrological level, the divination now is taking place according to, remember, the stars are called luminaries. Luminaries, loom, loom, light, luminescence. It's light. So when someone is giving you an, astro um, 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 an astrological birth chart reading, what they are doing is reading the light of the night sky or reading the light of where the stars were the moment you came into creation. Because that moment, that moment when you came in, that moment when you came in here, the fractal universe happened. So your birth chart is a snapshot of the heavens of the time when you were born. And so that snapshot will contain all of the whole. Remember, it's a hologram. That snapshot contains all of the whole of what you represent. 
So that's why in, in, in the past, only kings would get their birth charts read. Only kings. And, 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 and just to brag, and just to brag a little, and, and, and it's sort of like, hmm. but sometimes I brag to myself. I'm like, damn. I was born in a lifetime where my queen does birth chart readings. Uh, and she's one of the best. And so some days she just randomly be like, babe, um, hey, Jupiter is, hey, hey, babe. And I'm like, ah, hey, you. And so, so I'll just be laughing. I'll be like, damn, wow. Oh my God, wow. Wow. So anyway, enough about me and, and my braggadocious um, way of, Damn man, hey, this life time. I really, I, I, I really, I really chose it well, and and I'm on that path still of finding out. As the oracle said, I'm here to find out why. I still don't know why. I have fragments. I have little bits of pieces of why I made the choice, but I'm still finding out as to why I made it. So that's why it's important to know certain things about yourself, young mama family. So. There's many ways, there's many ways, as I was saying, with, with astrology, it's, it's the night sky, it's the luminaries, it's, it's, it's you seeing who you are on a cosmic level, projected down to the macro, I mean to the micro, remember, as above, macro, so below, micro, so you are that projecting here, experiencing this. But it's all the same. And you can project this even further down into the atomics, into the atomic level. Whereas the same distance is said that the same distance that the sun is, or, or, or the planets circulate the sun, is the same distance on a microscopic level that the electrons circle the nucleus of an atom. So what is happening up there is happening deep in there. So the trillions of stars are the trillions of cells and atoms inside of you. You are a light being. You are a divine entity. And when someone is divining, what they are reading is that energetic signature that you represent. Because all of that carries a potential. What they are seeing now, now we're going to get into, oh, uh, uh, some things is so... Does it mean that, well, I'm going to experience certain things? Is it determinism? Well, it's going to happen. It's, it's, we live in a very amazing universe in a sense that we actually all have the same destiny. And that destiny is to get to the creator. It's to, it's, it's to become one with the creator. Or, 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 or remember that you are part of the creator. The whole journey, the whole thing was us leaving and forgetting and experiencing all these, oh my God, all these cycles of time and, and evolution and all of that. What, but what was happening is that we were being fermented and cooked and so that we could, we, we could comprehend experientially what it means to be God, not just know it conceptually. So all of us have the destiny of, of going back to the creator. But now what is different about that is how you get there. So we all going up, we all going up, but how we get there is different. And that's where now your free will is going to come in. In terms of, on this, on, in, in terms of this lifetime and, 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 and on a larger scale in terms of the different life, the, the different lifetimes that you have and the different solar systems and galaxies that you incarnate into on a bigger level because you are that big. The story is that big. So, all, all headed towards that unimaginable absorption into the greatest of all the greatest. But how we get there, the time in which you get there is different. It's different. And so when you are now participating in divination, you, you basically have a sneak peek of of, of where you are on your journey. Like, oh, 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 okay. Oh, damn, here. Yeah. Ooh, hey, hey. Ooh, and then with that, you can kind of navigate. It's all about navigation. You could navigate your way. Like, oh, okay, okay, yeah. Oh, oh all right. Oh, all right. 
oh damn that's why certain celebrities have astrologers they know like okay launch launch this album on this day because the stars would be right you know some planet would be in a house that allows for things to thrive when you post or when you do at things at specific times it's it's all about signs and symbols Remember, some things in you are ancient, as this, as this was saying, it's, it's primordial. You, you don't even know that certain things that you do is because it's, it, it's, it's such an ancient thing in all of us. An interpretation of the unconscious, it's unconscious to you. Unconscious codes, binaries, ones and zeros. Some things that you do, you don't know why you do them, it's codes. An interpretation of the unconscious codes and secret language that shape our most ancient emotion. Most ancient emotion. It's signs and symbols. And, 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 and these signs and symbols, for an example, right? I could show you a treasure box as a sign. You could see this in a dream, like a treasure box. And, and, and on this treasure box, you see there's an ank. There's, the, the, these are symbols on the treasure box. They represent different things. Ankh representing life. Um, so if you were to see that in a dream, you would now interpret in the sense of, oh, I saw a treasure box. It means I'm about to discover something, a hidden talent, or I'm about to, um, uh, something, some, something is coming in my life. So you would have to now sit and play a game with yourself. This is where games come from. What does the treasure box mean? Give you another example of what of, of how symbols were created or what what the language of, of symbolism is. Right? So I went I went to my granny's crib this past weekend and I asked her to give me these. And to two of them. This this is a they call it Siro. When they say go Gaspel. In the language of northern Sotho, when you when you scoop something, but ora 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 meti, So this is called siro. Something that you use to scoop scoop water, you drink. So this, if I if I see this in a dream. What would that tell me? I'm about to. There's something that I'm about to scoop up. So I should keep away of opportunities that come. There may be something in my reality that, you know, that might, that, that might be coming my way in order to fulfill a certain type of thirst, to nourish me. And then in that, in me seeing this, this would be a symbol. This also goes into how now you can make your altar. When you make altar, an altar, you put things that, that, that mean certain things to you, that are special to you, because then they will represent that aspect of your subconscious mind that deal with the with, with 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 the auric worlds with the light planes hmm? it's signs and symbols double infinity it's 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 a dream catcher this is a symbol it's a pentagram a five pointed star it's a symbol so you are a symbol. You are the greatest symbol that there is. You just need to learn how to le how to read. <laughs> you just need to learn how to divine the energy that you are. And that's what divination is, family. Prophets, seers, oracles, People do tarot readings. People use numerology. People use tea leaves. People use bones, crystals. Jeez, you could use clouds. God. 
can use anything. I mean, oh, most of the time, oh, you could divine that. You divine when you see someone yawn, you're like, oh, that person is tired. You divine that's that's little. Di that's di that's that's divining. When you see someone excited, are you are you are happy now? You divining. You know how to. You divine every day. When you see someone like, I know this, this person is sketchy. You're divining. And with that electricity, <laughs> damn. Um, I guess that's the end of the video. <laughs> uh, I just lost the electricity right now. Damn, I didn't think this was going to be over an hour. Uh, peace, family. Love and light. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, this this has been... This has been divination. Um, yo, wow. <clears throat> that, was a, that, that was actually a sign that I should end the video. <laughs> so let me, let, me, let me go ahead and divine that. That's the end of this video. Peace, family. Much love. Thank you so much. Um, I love you all. Thank you for, for walking this path, for walking this journey with me. And yeah, may, 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 may it all be well with you, family. Remember, if you want to support me and support the channel... I'm going to leave my PayPal in the description, also my banking details if you just want to send a little something something for your boy, uh, I'd really appreciate that, but otherwise family be good, be amazing, be blessed and keep growing, Galerat, much love.